Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will see one another approach to create an OData service using the CDS view. In my last video, we saw how we can create one OData service using the one simple annotation OData published true, and we were able to create successfully as well. Not only we created the OData service, we ran through all the query option which we have learned throughout this playlist and we were able to execute successfully. For example, we were able to do a normal read with association, with expand query option, top, skip, filter, order by, group by, this all things we have, we were able to do successfully. But the problem with this approach, this kind of OData service, we can use only read only scenario. If we want to update the data in the system, we want to create the data in the system or we want to modify the data in the, in the system, we were, we can't do using this OData service. To do that, we have to create the OData service with CDS with different approach. It depends which system you are working on. It depends totally on that. If you are working on Town Point 5, an above version where you have facility to create the OData service using the BOPF framework or OData service with using the RAP programming model or if you are working, working in CAP, Cloud Tab App Programming, then you can do the things. But your, today we will discuss the approach where our system version below 7.5 and we can create the CDS view, but we are not having that any facility like to create a BOPF or create a RAP or CAP. This kind of things facility is not available, but we can create the CDS views. And now I want to consume this CDS view in my OData service. And I want that all the read operations work out of the box. But I want to do my modify operations also. So this thing we will see, we will go in the system and how we can do this all the things we will check in the system. Let's get started. If you remember from my last video, what we did, we created the two interface view on top of VBAK table and VBAP table. And finally, we have consumed this two interface view in our consumption view, GC sales order, where we are calling this both the interface view one of the interface view had which having the header data and another interface view which is having sales order line item data. In the sales order header data, we are fetching all the data ages, but line item data we were able to do using the association. We are just exposing the data. Let me minimize this one as of now and this one as well. And we will see again how our O data service look like. As I told you, you just have to go here and you have to click on the OData service which we have created using the annotations and then we can see successfully our OData service. So I have maintained one host file today. So that is the reason no need to replace this server name. You have to go to your C folder and driver and you just replace the server name with your alias name then it will work out of the box here you no need to each time you have to replace the application server name here so you saw we were able to create we have we were we were we are able to see the audita service and we were able to do all the operations here that also we have seen but using this approach can i try that can i i try to create the audita so let me see first uh, uh, let me see this all the things in the SCGW first. Let me do one thing. I open each and everything in different tab. I don't have any OData project over here. So what I will do and now I want to modify the data in the system. I have the sales order data. I want to modify the sales order data. I have done. I don't have any SCGW project where we can we where I can write the code. And how we use the CDS, we use always CDS using the read purpose. We never use the CDS to update the data in the system. This is our having the, apart from the AMDPs are there, but that is CDS table functions are there. There also we can't do the modifications. We just read the data. So CDS 
only be used for the read purpose no update purpose no, no update operation or modify delete operation we can't do so this definitely this annotation approach will not work we have to think out some other way so if you are version 7.5 and less you can create still you are working on hana database or any database you can create the cds view and you want to come consume that cds view inside your raw data so you want to create all data service using the cds view and you want to do create update and delete operations also for that you have to create one odata project and we will definitely use the cds view in that odata project and once we use that cds view in the odata project our read operation will work out of the box we no need to do any things so the sadl framework will take care all your read operations not only all your read operations if you have defined in the cds all the annotations like metadata annotations which is few related annotations or some other annotations which is giving the relationship between the currency and quantity and analytical annotations lot of other annotations are we are using in the cds those cds annotations will be carried out in the odata service and when we consume that odata service in fury or somewhere else those annotations will work there as well and we were able, we can do the our modify operation as well so let's create one odata per project to open any t code from the eclipse you have to do alt f8 and you have to go to the scgw t code so i have already created the lot of okay i already created one of the let one of the what we can say odata project for my practice let me create another one so where i will consume this particular cds view gc sales order control c let me create one new project over here and let me give some meaningful name so let me give the project name is underscore sadl i can give so i will get to know this will work uh, on the you can give the naming convention as per your company's policy how you should give so one of the most important thing you should able to guess that when you read your project num project name then you should able to guess that how my odata how this particular project is working using only it is using scgw or scgw along with the sadl it is working so that is the reason i have write just the sadl so in that way i can see that i am creating one i am using inside this project cds as a data source so like like that you can give sales order you can give any description of your project and you have to choose service with the sap annotation and standard other things are same you have to use give some appropriate package you can use the technomaniac technomaniac whatever the package you are using the technomaniac and you i will right click over there and my project got created the simplest thing we have to do we have to take our consumption view control c and we have to go here in our data model just right click with the reference to data source so this is very important step when you are using consuming cds in the scgw and you are using as you want to get the advantage of sadl framework where your read operation work out of the box so i will do data source and i will pass my cds entity name and click on enter and click on next button so here as of now i am using the simplest form of the cds view so that is the reason i can see only one association i will try to consume one of the standard cds view uh, where we have lot of associations if you have multiple association you have here flexibility to choose which association you want to use in your cd uh, your in your odata service if you don't want to use the, some of the association you can deselect just for example i'm not selecting the item association i just want to use my consumption view that's it whatever the consumption view data i want to use i don't want to use this association is up now let me click on finish button and let me generate my o data artifacts runtime artifacts so just i have to click on run, generate runtime artifacts 
I have to give appropriate TR. You can create if you didn't create it. Most important thing, it will create MPC extension and DPC extension all the classes over here because we are using SCGW project. So once this is there, you know how to do update, how to do create, all the things you can do. But we'll see where to write exactly code and how it is working. So let me click on enter and choose the appropriate package. Again, I will choose Z Technomaniac. Techno Maniac. Okay, I V Techno Maniac and let me click on enter. Oh, I think I did some mistake. Let me rewrite again. Z Techno Maniac. Okay, 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 got it, got it. Sorry, sir. I have to use here package name control x control v technomaniac sometime when we record the video our focus is somewhere else does not exist in the system oh i am the resp responsible person sir why it is not app applicable so this guys technomaniac Oh, it's coming here. So I can select here. So let me use Z Technomaniac. Let me click on save. Oh, it took too much time for me. So it will generate all the artifacts over here. We will see the service. Before doing, now it got generated everything. Now what we want to do? First, what we want to do? We want to disable this ODDA service, watch which we have created. Let me comment it out, control shift less than. Uh, it's taking time to log this particular object. And once we will disable this all data service, I will show you it is not working. Because as soon as you remove the all data published to annotation from here, it will deregister the service and we were not able to see uh, this all data service at all. And let me do control F3 and let me refresh the data. Can I get the data again? I think I will get some error. So still I'm getting uh, due to the sales order application. Let me refresh again or let me copy this one. Control C and open a new, new tab. Might be it is coming from this one. So for, so you can give SAP gateway error log. You are getting some error. So you can see the stack trace also. What is the error and where it is getting from? This is the advantage of the SAP DS debug true query option. You can check it out where exactly it is failing. What is the error? Everything it will give here. So since this uh, service got deleted, so we are getting the error. Now what we will do, we created the SCGW project. Now we will go and maintain this particular service in the system. So you have to come here. You can register from here itself. I want to register the service and alias name I can use local and click on enter you can give package name I will give Z Technomaniac and let me click on next button it's the same thing how we were doing in the normal project creation there is no difference okay now I have registered my service as well once I register the service, let me open the SAP Gateway Client. Yeah. You can, if you have the different hub system, you have to go to your hub system and you have to go to transactions, forward slash IWFND, forward slash ment underscore service decode, and there you have to register your service. Since it is, I'm have, I don't have the separate system, so I'm doing in the one system only. Just execute and test it out all the operations. If you see your all the operations will work out of the box. Let me copy it out this particular service. You can see the service name code generated GC your project name like how it is generating in when we create one Odata service using the SCGW. Same way your service name automatically code generated. Let me go here. Now let me see the data see this service i got the data i can see only one 
टाइटल इज अवेलेबल लेट मी सी फॉर मेटा डेटा डॉलर मेटा डेटा लाइक वी डू विद ईच सर्विस फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस ऑल द थिंग्स बिकॉज वी हैव यूज द एस ए डी एल फ्रेमवर्क दैट इज द रीजन दिस ऑल द थिंग्स लाइब्रेरीज आर कमिंग बट वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन स्कीमा ओवर हियर इन द स्कीमा यू कैन सी वी हैव वन सेल्स ओडर एंटिटी टाइप विच इज क्रिएटेड एंड दिस एंटिटी टाइप वी हैव इन एंटिटी कंटेनर वी कैन सी वन एंटिटी सेल एंटिटी सेट कॉल जी सेल्स ओडर वी कैन यूजिंग दिस एंटिटी सेट दिस इज द सर्विस लुक लुक्स लाइक सेम विच वी एक क्रिएटेड इन माई लास्ट वीडियो यूजिंग द सी डी एस ओ डेटा पब्लिश टू इफ यू ट्राई टू एक्सेस द डेटा यू विल इजीली एक्सेस ऑल द डेटा यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्विस यू कैन सी आई गोट ऑल द डेटा एंड दिस इज इन एक्स एम एल फॉर्मेट आई कैन चेक इन द क्वेश्चन मार्क डॉलर फॉर्मेट इक्वल टू जेशन ऑल्सो आई कैन डू फॉर्मेट इक्वल टू जेशन एंड इट विल शो मी द डेटा इन द जेशन फॉर्मेट नाउ वॉट आई विल डू do our query options are working still obviously it will work as this uh, let me open my query option file okay i put the query option file uh, in my last video blog so what i will do uh, sap technomania blog so blog you can access from there also you can see user profile sap technomania uh let me ho lab app on hana let me open this one so you in, inside this a uh, ways to build or data service you can see all the old service options are available you can access the youtube video from here as well but uh, i just want to see what all are the i have uploaded this one and you can go to the sap technomania blog but uh, and you can just check it out all the service what all are the queries we can access for this as of now we didn't implemented it any association but we can do if you want to get access the single sales order we want to apply filtering and everything we can do from here but most important thing i didn't see as of now the association over here to see the association we have to modify our o data project to modify the o data project you have to go to cds entity shorts and just you have to select your association which you want to consume over here until and unless you will not select your association over here it will not reflect in your metadata file as well and you are not able to use this association as well let me regenerate my runtime artifacts it will generate all mpc dpc mpc extension and dpc extension classes i got some error please regenerate gc underscore sales order project let me select this one and regenerate again i hope so it will work now it got generated successfully now i will access the my metadata service again let me go back where i'm using just uh, dollar metadata to get the metadata file if you see this metadata file still i am able to see my no i can't see the association still i think let me open in control c separate somewhere else control v and see it is working or not yeah now it is working you can see previously we were not having any navigation property but now we have one navigation property called two items which is automatically got generated since and the relationship also see and you can see the association name over here and if you have big file you want to see the what is this association doing you have to copy from this one control c and control f and control v you can do and and you can see the association where it is and what is the definition of association this is one to star and what is the from where to where it is going and what is the cardinality everything you can see in the entity container also you can see now two entity set one is the sales order header and one is the sales order item and the association set also got created like that you can analyze the odita service if you have bigger service no need to worry just you have to uh, you can go through the service in the schema you will get all the entity types 
first you will get all the entity type then you will get all the associations then you will get entity container where you will be having all the entity sets along with the association set and apart from that you have the annotations with got automatically generated due to the your SIDL framework this is fine for me now I want to explore some of the OData things let me see if the count is working or not these are the this are the automatically available by framework this will work no need to check but something we have to do the implementation for that those are working or not that is my problem so let me use this dollar select query option is it working or not control c so first i have to give the service name uh, which data i want to get uh, gc underscore sales order let me go for forward control v question mark dollar select and i will get this time sales order is there sales order is there and i want to get the in the format equal to json let me see the data is getting or not there is something wrong gc sales order is there question mark dollar select okay aurt i think it is not there let me remove this aurt and check only i want to get the sales order number i'm getting you can see the dollar select working i didn't do any implementation till now and like that you can check out some of the query options which without implementation query option this is working with implementation which should work suppose i want to do the order by so i can see already order by it is sales order let me see some of the query options uh, which okay order by kunnar that should we can check order by kunnar control c i don't want to write again and again those query options it will take time or instead of sales order i will use something else KUNNR I can use KUNNR you can see currently it is uh, 1711007 then 71 it should be in sorted order descending order and format equal to JSON I want to get okay Kunnar K is small I know K is small let me check again you can see the first we got the descending order so that is the reason we are getting the character first that then highest number then one slowly slowly it will the Kunna number will decrease so order by also working without implementation you can try out all the things all the filter operation order by stop skip everything work will work out of the box now our main focus will be the how to do the update operations what we will do first we will see our update operations are working without implementation or not that we will see we already seen that read operations are working out of the box without any implementations to see that uh, let me show you i didn't do any implementation for that uh, if you remember this class name gc underscore sales order underscore sidl is the, our project name and class name will become jcl underscore that particular project name underscore dpc extension class for the data provider class let me open this dpc extension class and you can see i didn't do any implementation over here but still my read operations are working out of the box let me go to the my project and let me go to the gateway client to see how it is working so first let me get the entity set name let me get sales order header and i will get single any sales order i can get over here let me get some sales order which i have created uh, se 16n or we, we can go to eclipse alt f8 or control shift a okay sorry control shift a control shift a okay control shift a not alt shift a vba k i can open the database table in the preview mode and i can uh, f8 I can filter out created by my ID ER name I can filter out quick filter on this one technomaniac I can put instead of user one I can select this one there is a lot of users are there let me put technomaniac okay and you can say I have created some of the sales order manually to check uh, the sales order creation working 517 and 518 I will use 517 to get the data and let me check uh, question mark dollar format equal to json 
equal to JSON I can do and let me do append or execute it. So I am getting the data successfully. Let me use now I want to check a read operation since create get entity set method I didn't implement it. I didn't do any read operation still it is working. But let me check the create operation is working or not for checking that what I will do. Uh, I will use as a request, I will do post operation, I will remove the unnecessary metadata and try to post again this particular. Uh, for that create operation, if you remember from my last video, we should not pass this uh, key name. Let me execute it. You can see I'm getting error, creating operations are disabled for this particular entity means create operations are not working out of the box. We have to do the implementation for the create operations. Let me switch to the uh, Eclipse perspective and let me go to my DPC extension class. Uh, as of now, there is no development is there. Uh, and I, which method I want to implement for see that to see that in the SE24 already we can see the what, what all are the methods are there. But in the Eclipse, if you want to see, you have to go to the your super class inside your super class you can see some of the method for the create entity because i want to create so i will click control click it will take me to the create entity and i want to create the sales order entity so you can see the entity name for that this is the method they are calling gc sales order create entity control c and what kind of this method if you do control o and if you try to search this method again you can see this is a private method so when we are re-implementing the private method in subclass we have to method not private this is a protected method not the private method we have to uh, since yellow color will be the protected red means private and the green color will be the uh, public section so we have to re-implement in the protected section not the private section you can re-implement in private as well but we have to re-implement in the protected because it is a protected method so let me go to the my class and I will go to my protected section. Let me for re-implementing, let me write it down. If, uh, if you don't want to, do, you if you do control space, you will get the method. Shift enter you can do and you can do redefinition. Not raising, redefinition. You have to click on control one to redefine this method and add implementation for this particular method. And you can write it down your code to create entity. But I don't want to do create entity for sales order because sales order should be created along with the line item data, not only the header data. To just to show you, I just created. Uh, let me activate and let, we will see it is triggering or not. That is important for us. This method should trigger when I call the single entity in creation mode. That is important for me. So let me put the breakpoint. Before putting breakpoint, let me go here and let me click on get method. I think. Uh, let me it got disconnected let me click on okay okay and let me put control f3 it is telling it is currently editing let me go to sm12 alt f8 uh, as i told you the server session runtime is very less so if it is ideal for one or two minute it's just uh, what it is doing it is throwing me out so it got logged so I let me do a control F3 again now it got activated let me put breakpoint over here in end method uh, you can see it has taken me out so let me go again my low go again inside my project Z sales order asset DL let me go ZWA I can open directly from IWFND also but let me open from directly here easily using one click yes i want to test my service again i forgot my sales order which i was which one i was using i was using i think let me go to vbak table 517 i'm using i can use 517 5.8 uh get entity set method i want to get the sales order entity 518 518 and i want to add uri option dollar format equal to json and that's it let me execute and get this data i got the data use as a request remove the metadata 
and try to pause this, try to create the cells order single entity in the system. Let me execute. Ideally, my breakpoint should trigger. Okay, there is one error. We our URI is not correct. We should not pass the key field, just we have to pass the entity set name. And we should pass just the entity set name to create the method. We should not pass any key or something. Ideally, we should not pass this also, but it is fine. Let me execute. You can see breakpoint got triggered. Let me switch to my debugger perspective. So you can see that method got triggered. Now you have to write your own code if you want to update single entity. But sales order, header data and line item data, we will not update separate separately. We will update together. For that we have, we need the create deep entity. So like that, just to show you, if you want to create single entity or if you want to update, modify, you can write it down your code now here. No need to write any code for the read operation that will work through the SADL out of the box for other things you can write the code here. Let me do F8. As of now, it will not work obviously because uh, we'll get the error because we didn't do any created successfully you can see, but we are not getting any data back here. But that's the one thing, but it is not created ideally. And uh, to create the sales order, I will do a little bit different approach. You remember from my previous video where we have created the sales order in the system. If you sales order project, if you go to the sales order DPC extension class, this is the another project which we have created sales order project was there. In that project, let me minimize, let me show you what we did. We created the get entity method, get entity set method for the header and get entity set method for item to get the data from the system. I didn't implement it anything, still it is working because we are using one CDS with reference to CDS. Now, obviously I don't want to create a single entity. I want to create the deep, deep entity. To create the deep entity, obviously we have method, create deep entity method I will re-implement, control C to create the sales order in the system. Same thing we have to do, what we have done in my previous video to create the sales order. There is no much things are there, I'm just copy pasting. I don't want to repeat the same thing again and again. You can watch out my previous video of create deep entity There I did the same, control one. You can re-implement this one and just, I will write the same code as well uh, for the create deep entity. Let me see what is the create deep entity is here. What is the code? I will write the same code you can see control C and control V, control V, shift F1. What we are doing in this code, I will quickly explain. Uh, we are getting the data of payload data. Once we got the payload data, we I have created one method, local method. Here I didn't create it, let me create. Uh, control one we will do, it's a quick fix. It will create the method automatically for me, create method, this sales order method. Uh, important parameter, uh, importing parameter, this is correct. Exporting is not any. I can check VBLN, it is type should be VBLN. And let me click on finish button. It will create one method automatically for me. Okay. There is some issue. It didn't got created. Let me do control shift less than. I think I have to activate my first, my code. Then only it will get created. Control shift less than. Let me do activation. Control F2, control F3. Let me un okay what is this oh it is telling currently it is editing alt f8 sm12 it got disconnected in bed between i don't know why it is connect disconnecting this much frequently let me delete out delete it search it out and delete this one yes delete it let me close this one and let me activate control f3 again it got activated, I think so. It got activated. Let me uncomment again. Control shift greater than. I'm little bit quicker because I already explained. Let me do control one. Create this method for me. Uh, instead of any, I will use VBLN. Uh, let me click on finish button. It will create one uh, private method for me. It is automatically declared. You can see implementation. If you go in the private section, you can see the definition as well. Uh, so this is how we have to do. Let me do control shift greater than. And after creating the sales order, we are passing the sales order data back. And not only sales order data, entire data we are passing that, passing back so we can see in the output again when we get the successful output. So this is how we are doing. Creating sales order as of now blank. I will copy paste the same code what we have written previously. 
there is no difference in code because it was working perfectly previously if you don't know how to create the sales order in the system you can watch out i definitely i know you know guys but still if you want to see how it is working this code you can watch out my create deep entity video that i have explained this the thing the same thing and let me activate this one again control f3 we will debug and see how it is working but as of now it is working perfectly let me close this one I don't need this class I just got what we are doing I can explain quickly so you can see once we created the sales order we are passing the sales order back and not only sales order line item data also we are passing back and so we can see in the payload uh, not payload in the output we can see and to create the sales order we are using this BAPI BAPI sales order create we are passing the header data and we are getting the sales order back and we are getting if there is error we are getting the error and we are committing the as you as usual we do in a ABAP that's it so we are using like this so let me put black point over here how this is working to see and let me activate already activated now let me execute again but this time create deep entity so to run the create deep entity you have to go to the again your project and my project got closed let me minimize this uh, it's it got open now let me go to the my Gateway client to test it. I can't test from the browser as of now because I have to upload the payload. So let me click on SAP Gateway client. I want to open. Yes, you can open. Yeah, let it open. Let me get entity set. Which entity set? Sales order header I want to get. What was the order? 5.7. If I remember, that is correct. 5.7 only. Uh, 5.7. That is correct. Let me get this 5.7 sales order so i know because i have created manually this order and through bapi also one 5.8 i have created i know it will be working so that is the reason i'm using the same sales order otherwise we need a lot of data over here uh, what i will do uh, i will add the uri option uh, this time i will not get only sales order i will get the expanded entity so question mark dollar expand expand equal to two items two underscore items and i want to add one more query option add uri option format equal to json you can add that's it let me execute it i hope so i will get the 517 added data and line line item data only also since we have implemented create deep entity method now only create deep method entity method only will trigger if you implemented the normal create entity method also still it will trigger the create create deep entity method because you have implemented that that i have already showed you in the create deep entity method so use as a request remove the metadata i don't need this metadata and i don't need this result set also first remove the metadata and this result set also i don't need and i just need this one i'm just passing sales order header data and one line item data if you don't pass sales order number also fine i'm not using anywhere sales order number i'm just using this data to create the sales order in the system so this time i have to post and no need to pass this entire query option delete let me put breakpoint as, as well and i already put breakpoint i hope so it should trigger uh, let me go again and execute breakpoint got triggered successfully let me switch to a back perspective you can see uh, we have the data uh, we are reading the data from the payload to you read the data we, we are using the read entry data method i have explained everything in the in the my create deep entity method so you can see as sales order data we got i can see everything here now all the very lc sales order data you can see er date not all the data we are using only the few data we are using for example i use the aurt uh, in01 is a vkrz vtwrz and this part we have passed and we have passed the bst nk value and the same way we have passed the kunna value so what all what, what all are the values we are passing we are getting successfully here not only header data we are getting the line item data also you can see line item data here so if you see the line item data i don't have any line item why there is some issue I should have line item data why I don't have any line item data it's saying the zero entry it should be have one entry because I have passed 
single entry over here sales order line item and this data i have passed in the two items let me see that that i will see not an issue uh, as of now you can see the data let me do f5 so it will it will take me create sales order so i'm getting the document type sales order and from this data as document type sales of sales org division and the distribution channel i got everything over here you can see and partner number also i'm getting from the kunnar so i know what all are the required data based on that only i created my interface views in my last video so i can use correctly app 6 and you can see i'm adding some of the data in build to party sold to party but the problem is that i don't have any data in items let me double click over this if sales order item is having any data i don't have any data it will come out i think i should get some error it went inside f6 f5 okay let me see gi item is having any data no it's not having any data let me do f6 i should get any error so what is the error i am getting i can see in the gi return table there is three error is there you should pass some line item data it should be sales order is not processed successfully has been processed successfully it, it created successfully i think it is created without line item data i think so so we, since we didn't pass any data we'll get the sales order number also let me do f8 okay let me go to the my let me do f6 f6 i think we have sales order number now lb vbln if it is created successfully uh 5.9 it got correct created successfully you can see f8 i will do without line item data it got created but you should pass the line item data you can see it got successfully created and you you can see your sales order number here oh sales order number is not there ideally i am passing the sales order number back so 509 sales order number should be there a back prospect debug perspective it got terminated let me see the my sales orders slay so va03 509 it got created with uh, some material let me see how it got created 517 was there i think it took some reference customer reference and then it got not 509 i think so 519 let me go to vbak 519 it didn't create it actually Oh, it got created without line item you can see it got created without line item let me see what is the issue with the line item do you know why it is not working this is the issue of the copy paste so i found out the issue because we have copy pasted the code from the this class uh mpc extension class what we have to do to deep structure work we have to create one deep entity so if you know the, from this one, if I click on the TY, you can see this is a part of G sales order 002 MPC extension class. In the same way, we have to create this particular structure in our DPC extension, uh, means uh, MPC extension class. So for us, what is the MPC extension class? We have to go to SADL MPC extension class and we have to go to the public section and we have to create our own structure over here instead of using that structure so in that way the deep entity will work so otherwise it will not work it, it will give us error it's not responding let it respond so i did control v anyway control v so what i will do now uh, this is not available now TS sales order header obviously it will be not available I have to go to the MPC class to see what is the type so in this case uh, the type will be different so I have to copy this one uh, first control C control V this is a header type oh sorry control C and control V and what is the line item type same way we have sales order type 
control C, control Z, control C, this is line type. Control C, control V. This is line type. But the navigation part also different in our case. Two items is we know from our raw data service, uh, metadata file. It should be two items, not the two items. Let me see once again to just confirm. I think it should be two items only. You can see it's two items. So that is correct. Let me control F3 and I have to copy this class name control C. Uh, this is not required. Let me go to the my MPC DPC extension class. And I will use this one. Shift F1, Control F3. Let me retest my service. Uh, so my structure was incorrect. That is the reason line item data didn't get filled. Let me re get the data again. I think it got disconnected. Let me go to the my sales order project again. Let me close it out. This also. So let me go to the service maintenance. I know it got disconnected. SAP gateway client. Yes. Let it redirect. Let me get the NTC set name. Add URI option. Expand is available. I don't think so. Expand is not available, but at least add JSON format. Uh, question mark dollar expand equal to two items if you feel bored you can watch in the uh, uh, double x means it will be sp speed uh, you can increase the speed of video and then you can watch i do usually that is the reason uh, format equal to json and that is fine i think dollar expand equal to two items and let me execute again but I want to get single entity instead of getting all the entities. 5.7. Let me re-execute again and get, dat get data back. I got the data successfully. Use the request. Delete it. And delete this metadata again. I don't need. Delete this result also. I don't need and delete this also. I prepared the my metadata file that's it and post do control x this time control x and re-execute again debugger should trigger it is not triggering but it got created successfully again i didn't get the sales order number uh, let me put my breakpoint again uh, there is some issue again let me see if there is some issue in DPC extension class, close other things. So I'm using this one GCL cells order. No, 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 no. You have to use this one control C, control V. And again, something is wrong. I anywhere else I'm using SADL only I have to use. Okay, now we are getting a lot of issues. Let me see what is these issues. Expense extension class I have used. I don't have any VBLN. Then I should have sales order something. Yeah. And I don't have items. Let me do control space. Two items I should have. And I don't have sales order. I have sales order. Control space sales order. Okay. I think now it is working correctly. And the same way I have sales order item control space. I should not copy paste. That is the reason. ZWA item Posner is not there. Control Z. That was correct. But po instead of Posner, I have sales order item. What else? Items. Ah, this is two items, not items. Two items. And now I can see sales order item not sales order header this should be sales order item material target quantity everything is fine now i think everything looks good let me do control f3 now 
once you activate let me put breakpoint again at appropriate place and let me do rerun my query it got successfully executed but sales order didn't get created it might have created but wrong number uh, old code got executed i can see let me re-execute again uh, thank god breakpoint break point got triggered now we can see our data correctly i think so f6 ls sales order i have sales order data correctly previously it was also coming correctly let me go to two items let i can see the items data as well and you can see now i don't have entire structure i have only the data which is required or i can see the line item data as well here in two items you double click over here you can see the item table here as well now i think so it should work correctly let me do app six uh, let me do f5 so you can see sales order number we are passing i think sales order got created successfully 521 and that create sales order also created 521 f8 and let me do come here this time i should see the sales order number correctly 521 let me see if this sales order is corrected in the system or not slay so va03 521 display it out it got created with the line item correctly so how this is how we can create the update create entity method is working obviously uh, the create deep entity method and if you want to update the data you have to use same method there is no separate method for available in the sap you have to use the same method like this we can create one o data service with reference to cds view and we can do the modify delete any operation in the on that particular cds entity we have to write the code in dpc extension class you have simple entity then you can do all the operation if you have the create deep entity method uh, if you want to do the combined multiple entity then you want to create something in the system you can use the create deep entity method as well like that how we are doing normal dpc extension uh, implementation those all the implementation we can do now and it will work for us automatically i think we have done with the this video in before going to next video please like this video share this videos with others as well and sucks don't forget to subscribe this channel as well and it will help me a lot and if you have some friend you feel that they are searching for any content the all the things are available on youtube free uh, ABAP on HANA course, CDS, full CDS playlist is there, AMDP playlist there. You have to just go to the in my channel. You have just have to search for SAP Technomaniac. That's it, nothing else. And it will give you the first link of my channel. And you can go through that particular channel and you can see the playlist. You, if you, in your main page, you can see ABAP on HANA free tutorial is available. Audita in SAP ABAP is available, SAP ABAP new syntax also available, CDS separate series, AMDP separate series, each and everything I have created for you guys, you can watch out and you can learn from here. With that, thank you and happy learning.